So uh, Kent County put out a bid uh, for a CARES uh, consultant to um, come in and assist with small businesses in particular, um, kind of navigate through all of the various aspects of uh, the CARES Act as relates to funding opportunities, uh, be it the PPP um, or EDL or even some of the local uh, grants and things of nature that have been out there um, and just really help those businesses understand, you know, their opportunities, understand their responsibilities with regards to, uh, you know, the loan forgiveness program, understanding uh, some of the financial information that they'd have to put together um, in support of those programs. And also just to, just some general business consulting, because as you know, when the, the PPP loans first came out, uh, they were very difficult to navigate. Um, each bank had a kind of a separate sub-process. The rules were kind of fluid, uh, constantly changing. And so we were um, able to kind of get ahead of some of that, put together some general templates, but it ended up generating a lot of uh, additional work for us. And so I, I think uh, that Kent County was very uh, smart to do that, try to get you know a person to be dedicated just to that because what was happening is banks were being overrun, um, individual being overrun at the county level, who may not have had the expertise to, um, to, to, to be able to get through uh, some of that legwork. And so I think it's, you know, that's kudos to Kent County to, to trying to get ahead of it and having a dedicated resource to help these businesses um, who normally don't have to deal with things at this level in terms of, you know, the financing and understanding what they're applying for and understanding, you know, again, their, their requirements under these various programs. Um, I think there's definitely more opportunities. I know there were, I believe, 335 businesses within Kent County who applied for some sort of funding. Um, and so now they're gonna be in that phase of having to either, you know, do the loan forgiveness or understanding what their uh, loan repayment's gonna look like. You know, in addition, uh, we've already been contacted by a couple of small businesses just for some general business consulting. You know, a lot of this has actually um, kind of been a domino effect from where businesses have had to actually take a look at their inner workings now. And before, you know, with some small businesses, basically they would take a look, oh, I've got cash in the bank, I can make payroll, everything's good. Well, you know, that's only one indicator of several to know how your business is. And this has forced a lot of those businesses to really kind of look at their QuickBooks and really try to understand it and in doing so they realize, oh, you know, things aren't set up properly. I'm missing this, I'm missing that. And so, and so this has even spurned that conversation and support as well through this process. And as you know, you know, um, the House is taking up new uh, legislation now uh, and depending on where that goes, uh, there could be additional funding. There could be what they call blanket forgiveness on the PPP loans as well. And that could really kind of change the dynamics quite a bit. We were given a list of the businesses that have applied for the various PPP loans and EDL loans that the county had kind of put together because they had been working uh, with these individuals in some form or another. And actually this weekend, we sent out an email to all of those groups, just kind of introducing who we are, kind of explaining why we're here and, and offering our services to that end. And in that email, we provided you know, our office phone number, my direct email, my wife's direct email, uh, and she's helping with, uh, with this as well, as well as our website. The other thing that we're doing, there are several other business groups like the Kent County Chamber of Commerce and some other groups that have been involved, and we're actually going to be setting up meetings with them over the next week or so to introduce ourselves. And we've already met with them at a high level, but now start to take those groups one by one. We are contracted through the end of December. And so that, that should be enough time to uh, at least help folks get their um, PPP loan forgiveness forms uh, assembled and submitted, uh, especially if they're doing the 24 week look back process. You know, and again, all that could change with the new uh, legislation uh, that could make things a lot easier, but, but, but our plan is to be filled the end of December. Um, helping out businesses and not-for-profits any way we can.